Right, grab yourself a cup of tea and sit back and relax because this boat is lovely. She's called Serenity. She's a 60 foot reverse layout semi traditional boat built by Colcraft in 2007 and she's really well presented inside and out. There's a lot to tell you about this boat. She's black this year in February 2022. The engine was serviced in May this year. Four anodes on her, they were satisfactory at the time of blacking. There's so much equipment on the boat. That pram hood's got a motion sensor light in it. So when you get on in the dark, the light comes on. So does the cratch cover. She was repainted in 2016. The sign writing was redone in March this year, 2022. There's 900 watts of solar power there. 990 watts of solar power on the roof. They were new this year in March. They have links to a smartphone. There's a plank and a hook on the phone and there's three of these they're security motion sensor lights there's three points on the boat the bow the stern and in the middle of the boat where you put those in and people walking past the lights come on that was cctv in the middle of the boat there on the roof forward and aft cameras they've got night vision they record for up to a month there are plenty of security systems on board that pram hood really easily just folds forward if you want it down for motoring and here's a semi-trad cockpit. The engine's in here. It's a Beta Marine 43 horsepower. The engine bay was soundproofed and painted in July this year. There's batteries left and right of the engine room. There's eight domestic batteries. There are two systems on board. One's 12 volt. They do the 12 volt systems. And there's 24 volts, which does the alternate, uh, the inverter, which does the uh, 230 volt systems. Storage in each locker either side here. There's the landline and ropes, those river ropes they are, they're brand new. And storage in that locker as well. Super comfy cushions. And there's the view through the windscreen. Down we go. Really characterful boat, this. Into the kitchen, being reverse layout. The galley itself is 10 feet 5 inches long, so plenty of room in here. Pine tongue and groove to the ceiling. I think the cabin sides are ash, but I'm not sure. And it's pine tongue groove below the um, below the gunnels. Granite worktops. Plenty of storage in this kitchen. The floor in the boat, it's from an old basketball court, so that'll be maple, very hard wearing. The cooker is a Spinflow Caprice Mark III, four burner gas hob oven and grill. There's a 12 volt shoreline fridge and separate freezer. the freezer bit and the fridge bit below. Lovely Belfast sink with cupboards underneath. Plenty of cupboards to show you on this boat. One for you Mike, you know who you are. Thank you. Three drawers. There's Bumble desperately trying to work out a way to get down the steps. We'll see if he if he's bright enough to work out to run to the other end of the boat. You'll find it easier. And in here with the electrics, there's a galvanic isolator, the solar MPPT controller, and that's so a 3 kilowatt Victron 24 volt inverter. Microwave there, that will be going actually, that's not part of the sale. Cupboards underneath. The bin. There are three radiators on board and a heated towel rail. And the dinette's next. Side hatch with roof hatch there, shelves underneath it. It's a stunning table this, it's oak, inlaid oak. Glossy. The cushions on here have been recently covered to match the sofa bed. There's a beer fridge there, but that's not part of the cell either. This turns into a spare double berth, there's storage underneath. Really, really lovely. That table's beautiful. All the windows have metal Venetian blinds. All the bus style windows anyway. And the saloon's next. 11 feet long, lovely room this. It's so cosy. And look at that stove. It's a Stratford solid fuel stove with an oven on the right hand side. So you can pop your jacket potatoes and cash all in when you go out for the day. It's really lovely, pretty. It's a sofa bed, barn sofa bed, storage underneath. That was new this year. April 2022. They paid for the memory foam option as well so it's super comfy this coffee table will be going two footstools that's a 32 inch wall mounted television hitachi 
The wallpaper there is Laura Ashley. And that's the view aft. Lovely room this. Head height on the boat, six foot four. And these doors into the bathroom, they're reclaimed oak off the QE2, the ocean liner. Both doors. Lovely ceramic sink there. There's a Thetford cassette loo. There's a spare cassette on board. Lovely tiled shower with a glass door and a light over. And this is nice. Behind this panel is the washing machine. This is a Candy Aquamatic 4 kilo. Tiled floor in here. And into the bedroom. Four portholes in here. That's quite unusual. Very nice. Quite light. Three drawers underneath. And storage behind that. Four drawers actually. One, two, three, four. Another radiator. The central heating on board is a Wabasto Diesel 5 central heating system. Another television up here. Both televisions, by the way, have a Roku stick for free view and apps. Storage under the steps here. There is an omnidirectional Wi Fi booster on board as well. That was new in March this year. Chest of six drawers here. The TV on the wall there, by the way, with a DVD player as well. The wardrobe, it's a big wardrobe. That right hand door does open over the step. It's been um, cut, so it does swing over the step. And here's the well depth. The bedroom, by the way, was 9 feet 8 inches long. There's the light I mentioned earlier. There's a fold down table in the cratch board there. Another beautiful piece of furniture, actually. Cushioned seats either side with storage under. The water tank's stainless steel. It's under the floor in the well deck here. We estimate it's about 500 litres, but not 100% sure. And there, there are windows in the front doors here. The front and back doors are held back with magnets, actually. It's brilliant. You don't, don't have to mess around with hooks or drilling into the steel. They're just super strong magnets. The Wabasto was... Uh, Service flushed and cleaned in June this year. The plumbing for the central heating was all new in November 2021. Hot water on the boat is heated by the engine, the Wabasto, where there was also an immersion heater. 230 volts on board is your 3 kilowatt inverter. There is also a travel power generator on board, 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator, engine driven. I've mentioned the eight domestic batteries. They were all new, by the way, in April this year, all the batteries, including the starter. All the lighting's LED. Two gas bottles in the forward locker in the bows. And she's got loads of navigation equipment, including a brolly mate with a washing line. It's all listed on the brochure on the website. Lovely, lovely boat. That's Sorrenti. For further photographs, fully downloadable brochure and the prize go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk